Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of DeLorean Tech and today we're going to show you how to replace your trailing arm bolts in the rear suspension of your DeLorean. You may remember our last video on trailing arm bolts where we showed you how to inspect the trailing arm bolts for either deformation or corrosion. In this episode we're going to show you how to replace the trailing arm bolts with new ones. We're also going to be replacing the bushings here with new old stock bushings and we're going to show you how to do the process from start to finish. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here's what we're going to be using for our trailing arm bolt replacement. So we're going to be using these Ink Canal 718 trailing arm bolts along with these nylock nuts, new old stock trailing arm bolt bushings and we went ahead and picked up some new shims from DeLorean Go. So these trailing arm bolts are made out of Inconel 718, which is a nickel chromium super alloy that was originally developed back in the 1940s in England to combat creep in jet engines. The new old stock bushings are important because anything else out there may not be appropriate for the car with the exception of maybe polyurethane bushings. Okay, so we've removed the air deflector shields and we have exposed the area here where the trailing arms are. And here's the original trailing arm bolt as well as the bushings and you can see the shims that are installed in there as well. So it's not a bad idea to put some knocker loose on the nylock nut that's there as well as the head of the bolt. That should make it a little easier in case there's some corrosion going on there. That'll serve to break it up. So we're going to use a breaker bar on one end and then a combination wrench on the other. Depending on how tight that is, you might actually need a longer breaker bar. So once you get the bolt loosened, you can start removing the nylocks on the end. Okay, so you're gonna need a 19 millimeter socket to loosen that up and remove it. Or you can use a combination wrench depending on how much clearance you have there. This makes it very easy when you have the car on a lift because if you were to do this on jack stands, it would be very difficult to get the kind of leverage that you need in order to loosen these bolts. Now we're gonna use a socket to remove it. Okay, the next thing you wanna do after you take off the nylocks at the end of the tabs is you want to very carefully loosen and remove the little nylocks that are here on the bushing plate. So there are a couple of integral nuts on there as well that you need to be careful about when replacing the bushings. So remove those small nylocks that are back there. Those have to be removed first before you can unbolt the bushings. So the bushing plate has two bolts holding it in. On one side you have a bolt holding it in that also serves as the battery ground in your car. So you need to remove that and be sure to replace that when you put the new bushing on. So once you have the uh, nuts off you can go ahead and start loosening the bolts here. A uh, ratcheting combination wrench definitely makes it a lot easier to do that. So just keep working those bolts off. It's going to take a little bit of time and these are the bolts that hold the bushing bracket in place. Okay, so we're going to start manipulating the suspension so we can remove the bolts a little easier. If you're taking a little bit of stress off the suspension, so the bolts sh should come out easier. So you can manipulate the suspension, come over here and check to see how loose the bolts are. Once they feel loose enough, you can back them out. You can tap out the suspension bolt here. It's coming. So you tap 
the trailing arm bolt out from this side. And with the suspension slightly raised, it should make it a little easier to pull it out from this side. So we'll need to remove the shims that are in there. So now we are removing the bolts here, securing the bushing plate in. Oops. So as you can see, if you can just hold down on the trailing arm here, Okay, so we've got the hardware off and we definitely want to make sure we got the orientation correct here, so. So you've got one large washer and then a slightly smaller washer. Then the bushing, the retaining plate, and then you've got another washer and you can see where the shim was because there's a little outline of it. So that goes on like that. So you want to clean the surface as well, make sure there's no debris on there when you start put everything back together again. If there's any corrosion, you want to put some rust remover. Again, Knocker Loose actually makes a pretty good rust dissolver, so you can spray that where you need to. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and clean up the old bushing plate. And take the old bushing off and put the new bushing on. We're gonna go ahead and get one of our new bushings out. Or new old stock bushings. These ones aren't in too bad shape, but they're pretty hard. And you can see some slippage there, so it's probably about time to replace these. But those are definitely gonna need to be replaced. So the first order of business here is to get the new bushing mounted first. All well, these ground connections, you probably don't have those. Those are additional ground connections that were done to sort of strengthen the whole entire ground of the vehicle. And then we'll go ahead with our 13 millimeter ratcheting combination wrench, we'll go ahead and thread those bolts in. So you're gonna wanna take your new trailing arm bolt and fit it through the bushing. Make sure you don't tighten that bushing down all the way because you're gonna need to manipulate that in order to make sure that the bolt can fit through there. So when you're putting everything back together, you wanna to make sure you've got the small washer on the inside and your large washer on the outside. And then your other small washer on the outside of the bushing. Then you're gonna to want to push the trailing arm bolt through the trailing arm itself. So we'll tighten the bushing plates down a little bit so we've got a little bit more room to work. So just go ahead and start tightening in the bushing plate. So that's a 13 millimeter ratcheting combination wrench will make it a lot easier. All right, so we just got the ink and L bolt in. So we put the shims back in. There are two shims on this side and then we're gonna go ahead and put the new nylock in on this side. So here's the new nylock. You do not want to reuse the old nylocks. Definitely get some new ones. So just tighten up the bushing plate now. And we'll factory torque spec that down to 16 foot pounds when we're all done. So it's a washer first and then the new nylock. So hold one end and then start ratcheting on the nylock. Just make sure those shims don't 
spin around and fall out. So those shims will rotate if they're not oriented correctly. So they have to be pointing downward like they are right there with the open end facing downward. So you want to make sure they don't spin around because they could actually fall out if your trailing arm bolt is not tightened down properly. So there's a new Inconel bolt installed and we'll go ahead and repeat the process for the passenger side. Okay, so we just took the other bushing off. This one's in a little bit better shape, but you can tell it's still starting to uh, show some signs of deformation. So you can see the difference here. You can see that the inner sleeve right there is really starting to move around inside there versus your new bushing. Everything's perfect. So one thing we notice is that on the passenger side, the bushing plate is kind of notched right here or like uh, trimmed down, probably for fitment. So we don't know if that's original from the factory like that or if it was done afterwards. So we're gonna go ahead and take our other Inconel bolt and try to fit it in after we get the new bushing installed. Okay, so we're fitting the new bushing in right now. Again, that ground cable that you see there, you may not have that. That's a Hervey style ground cable. That's going to the transmission here. It's pretty tight with all these hoses in the way. So also very difficult to film. So on these new Inconel bolts, we did find that if you applied a little bit of grease to the yeah. end of the threads right there, it'll make things a little bit easier when it comes time to inserting the bolts into the trailing arms. So again, don't tighten up the bushing bracket. Just kind of leave those a little loose there and kind of free. That way you're able to manipulate that bushing to get the new bolt in place. So we're installing the bolt now. Remember to install the small and large washers first. I'm going to get the bolt through the bushing. You're going to want to put the another one of the smaller washers between the bushing and the trailing arm. that and we got to get it to the trailing arm okay so that one went pretty easy again uh, grease seemed to be the trick to get that in there we are putting the alignment shims back in place this side had three the other side had two so we're gonna just keep it the same and let the alignment shop take care of the rest so we got to clean the grease off the end of those threads right there and then we'll install the washer and the new nylock nut. So the next step is to tighten down the bushing plate. Don't forget to put the little nylocks that are behind the integral nuts for the bushing plate bolts. So those add a double locking to ensure that those bolts don't back out. So those little integral nuts in there are not good enough. So that's why we install the nylocks on the end. They act as sort of a jam nut to those integral nuts. So we are putting the final touches on this. So we are tightening down the bushing plate. We got the smaller lock nuts that go behind the integral nuts on the other side. That takes some patience and a lot of the time the nuts will 
fall down into the frame here, but they don't get lost. They just kind of roll through a little channel after we get those tightened up, but don't tighten too much. We'll thread the nylock on, then drop the car suspension down and torque everything to factory specification. So when you're tightening this down, make sure the shims are aligned properly and not kind of all over the place in there. Ratcheting combination wrench makes a big difference here. So you want to lower the car back down before you start tightening up and torquing down any hardware. We're going to try to torque the trailing arm bolts down, but that's not exactly an easy task. So again, everything that gets torqued needs to be done so while the car is supported on its own suspension. So we're torquing the bushing plate to 16 foot-pounds. Each of those bolts needs to be torqued down to 16 foot-pounds. So according to the Knowledge Base article on the DMC website, the torque spec for the trailing arm bolts is 55 foot-pounds, so we're going to attempt to torque these to 55, see what happens. So we were able to get a torque wrench just a smidge over that nut, but it has been very difficult to torque this trailing arm bolt. Okay, so we were able to get the bolt torqued to 55 foot-pounds right there. <laughs> Took some very creative fitment, but we were able to fit the torque wrench and the socket around there. The hard part's gonna be the driver's side because there seems to be even less room on this side. But we'll see what happens. So the driver's side might be a little bit more difficult to accomplish. Again, it's gonna take some creative fitment to get the proper size socket over that nylon. So 55 foot pounds of torque on the trailing arm bolt. We did have to go to the bolt head with the socket in order to achieve that, but this should be adequate. Okay, so now that everything has been torqued down the factory specification, the next step is to take it out for a little test drive, make sure everything is tightened down correctly. Once you're settled in, take it to an alignment shop and have a proper four wheel alignment done. Anyway guys, that's the video. If you have any questions about the installation of these Inconel trailing arm bolts, go ahead and drop those down in the comments. And once again, thanks for watching.